Well, good evening and welcome to another segment of Edifying Moments, where we're building the kingdom of God one life at a time. Uh, we're so excited here at uh, Life Construction Church. I wanted to come on uh, today to share. Uh, I'm excited about this Saturday is our Glow Mother's Day Glow Fellowship. We're going to have an amazing time. We have some extraordinary ladies and um, I'm just excited just to be in their presence. Um, God's got some great things he want to share. So we're excited. Um, if you haven't registered already, you probably are too late because we are having a Mother's Day brunch and it was a limited amount of seating. Um, but we're excited about, uh, so you will be able to uh, zoom in, uh, meaning that we won't have zoom, but you will be able to uh, uh, view based on view uh, on YouTube and on Facebook. So you will have uh, the capability of tuning in. So um, you, you're going to have an awesome treat. Uh, of course, we always have prizes. The ladies are so excited because we always have prizes. Um, not only that, the word is so rich. Um, and this time we're going to have a few testimonials. And I'm excited about hearing from some of the ladies. Uh, God has just been doing some great things. And uh, during this time, uh, you know, we have been meeting quarterly. Our, our meetings have been quarterly. And uh, each time is power-packed. Uh, the Holy Spirit always shows up and we have an amazing time. So this time I'm just, oh my God, I just can't wait. Um, and I know uh, that you will be in for a great treat. Uh, so uh, go ahead and uh, let your friends know. Go ahead and let your family know. Let the ladies, mothers, and daughters, let them know. Tune in. Uh, I promise you, you, you won't regret tuning in and you will have an amazing time. Amen. Amen. Well, I wanted to, you know, our edifying moments, we're talking about health. Um, I always want to uh, go back and uh, touch bases with us on, on our health. Um, and I, to let you know, our, uh, we're connected to an amazing apostle that uh, God has given him a mantle of money cometh and uh, the health coming to the body of Christ. Um, not only just money coming, but also health coming to the body of Christ. And so I'm, I thank God for the connection, uh, to be connected to someone that is concerned about my health. Um, Pastor and I have been teaching on health, uh, doing our uh, Thursday night segments, and we've made a change in our lives. And um, we've decided that we want to live longer, feel better. And since that time, we've, we've changed our eating habits, uh, We've, we went vegan, and I'm at the line, and um, we've shared on our Edifying Moments, we've shared se several segments. Uh, we've had uh, uh, herbal pathologists come in to share with you um, different uh, uh, ways to eat, things that are good for you, things that are not good for you. Talk about the ac acaline lifestyle. We've had that. I've shared with you uh, some books, our apostle, um, recommended. This was one of the books that I started reading uh, when I first got started last year, God's Way to an Ultimate Health. And um, the other book was Why Do Christians Get Sick? So we, we provided you with some resources and I have encouraged our Life Construction Church and those that are viewing, we've encouraged you to uh, find out about yourself. We found out that there's only one disease, and that's a malfunction of cells. And um, we decided, you know, here at Life Construction Church, my husband and I have decided that we're, we're going to nourish our cells by giving them the proper nutrients. And uh, I want to continue to encourage you. Uh, the past few weeks, we've had um, our uh, young man, Von Derrick Williams. We've had him. He shared his journey with us, and he's lost... Uh, he at that time, he had lost 80 pounds or 90 pounds, 80 pounds, 80 pounds, and now he's lost even more. So we'll be bringing him back in a few weeks. Um, but his journey, uh, talking about how he got started, being consistent, being so young in age, but he decided to take his life back by eating properly. And, and, and we, are, um, we have 
uh, accepted the world's way of eating uh, because it tastes good. And we've, we've sold ourselves to tasting food uh, whether, rather than eating for our health. And so we want to encourage you that eating for your health is the way to go. Eating uh, and to stay healthy, to live longer, to be uh, a better uh, asset. Uh, versus a liability on your family. You know, you can be a, an asset to the family as you get older, or you can be a liability to your family because they have to constantly care for you as you age. And sometimes it doesn't even matter how old you are um, because you started at an early age pouring so much poison in our bodies that uh, we're getting sick now at an early age, um, young 30s. Um, uh, just a few weeks ago, we've had people uh, drop dead for heart attacks. So um, for the next few weeks, I'll be coming to talking to you more on health, sharing some more insight, uh, sharing my journey with you. I, um, I haven't taken the time to share you what some things that I've taken, uh, uh, started doing, how I started and why I started doing some things. I, I'm going to put some pictures out there just to see uh, what, as far as the weight. But my, I started off doing it for my health. And we always say, it's not, I'm not so concerned about losing the weight as much as the waste, because our bodies are so full of waste, which is poisoning our cells, which is poisoning our bodies so they don't function properly. So what we want to do is we want to learn everything that you can learn, how you are created, how your body functions, and know um, God has given us the proper foods to eat. He started off telling us exactly what to eat. But we chose to go another route. And because we chose to go that route, we are getting all the repercussions of that. We are, we are, our bodies are, are not functioning properly. Our bodies are um, getting sick at an early age. Um, and, and what we need to consider, what you need to consider is, what about me? What do I have to offer to the kingdom? How can God use me? if my physical body is not functioning to the, to the perfection where God has created it to function. So I want to encourage you to continue to tune in for the next few weeks. We'll be sharing some great nuggets. And um, like we always say, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Life Construction Church, building a kingdom of God, one life at a time.